Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. It is an absolutely glorious, lovely day here again. It's been a bit of stormy weather over the last few days, but I'm out in the garden today. I thought I'd get on with a little project that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and now seems like just about the right time. So in today's video, I'm gonna be building a wormery out of some nice, cheap plastic boxes. This is a great project because it means that I can have a little bit of compost going at home, I can collect the worm tea or worm pea which we'll talk about in a second um, and use it on the garden or I can use it down the allotment and this is something I've been wanting to do for absolutely ages so I've got all the bits and pieces, now it's time to give it a go. So if we've never met before, my name is Nikki, I run Back to the Good Life with me and my husband G. So this channel is all about our journey towards living more self-sufficiently, growing our own food and, food and medicines and just living a, a little bit more of a sustainable lifestyle. We're hoping to move from our little house here to somewhere a little bit bigger. Right now all of these projects are done in our back garden or at our allotment. So if that's something you're into, hope you can join us. So this project is dead easy. I've seen loads of people do it, so I'm hoping that we should be able to make this one quite simply. I've got three uh, recycled plastic boxes here. Um, they are just bog standard under the bed storage boxes that have been used for various bits and pieces. So I've kind of rescued them to use them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one as the base, which is gonna be this green one here. And then these two pink ones are gonna be kind of rotated around. Um, and we're gonna do that today. So, other things we need, I'm going to need a drill, which I've got here, um, some cardboard to keep the worms happy, a couple of bricks, I'll show you why in a second, and some good quality, well, rotted compost. I also need some worms, ironically. Um, funnily enough, I've ordered some worms from the internet, so I'm going to be filming half of this video today while I build the thing, and then in a couple of days, once my worms arrive, I will finish off by popping them in the box and then hopefully we can uh, watch them grow together. If you wanna check out things that we're up to in a little bit more real time, uh, check out our Instagram page, it's just down the bottom there. Uh, we update that sometimes <laughs> with stuff that we're up to. Uh, but if you've got any questions or anything, we would love to hear them, so drop a little comment in the comment section. Hit like in the video if you're quite enjoying watching me uncomfortably record videos, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, so let's go. Okay, so what we need to do with these is to be able to stack them on top of each other like that so that we can make a bit of a taller um, wormery. And then we're going to pop this on bricks as well. So this is where the bricks come in handy. I'm just going to literally pop a couple of bricks in the bottom there. I've got eight bricks, so I might actually pop them in the corners like that. Gives it a bit more stability. And then when we put our box on top, that can sit on the bricks and as you can see, we can start stacking it up here. So that's gonna be our bottom box. I'm gonna move that over for a second because there's not much else we need to do to that one. But for these ones, these are gonna be the boxes where our little worm friends are living. So we're gonna grab, grab our drill and what I wanna do is flip it over and just pop a load of holes in the bottom. So I'm just popping some uh, holes in the bottom here. Top tip I've learned, don't push too hard because it will crack, um, which is not what we wanted, but that doesn't matter too much. It doesn't necessarily matter how many holes you put in the bottom. The idea is that we're going to let the little wormies crawl up to the middle when they're finished composting one box. I'll show you that in a second. Let's just get on with these. Good. So when we're drilling in, a lot of the little bits of plastic come off. This is the stuff I don't really want in my garden. So I'm just going to save these. Find somewhere to put them. on the table for the minute but now you see we've got um, holes in our box here which is really cool so these are the little holes that we've just put in here what I also want to do is pop some holes around the top here this is going to be air holes so it keeps it nice and fresh for our little worm friends so I'm going to do that now Okay, 
So now we have our box with lots and lots of holes in the bottom here. You can see here. And then I've popped some holes around the edges. And you can see just here. So this is where our little wormies are going to live. So to make it nice and comfy for them in here, I want to grab some cardboard. We're going to just pop that in the bottom like that. Again, it doesn't really matter. I might just take that corner off. Try and make it a nice kind of half decent snug fit for them. This is just going to be the base of their little house. So pop that in there. And then we're going to pop in some good quality compost. We want to kind of aim for around about two inches. This should be just enough here. If not, I can always add some more. that out nicely. So I'm going to spread that out nicely here. You can see it's half decent quality compost so there's already quite a few critters and creepy crawlies in there which is really good. The worms will love that. And that's how I'm going to leave this box for the minute um, because this is where our little wormies are going to live. Now when they arrive in the post in a couple of days time I'm going to pop the worms in and then I'm going to put some food scraps on top. So let's move that one to the side over there. And then for this box we are going to do practically the same thing. We're just going to pop some holes in it and then we are going to put some holes around the outside as well. So let's do that now. So putting together our worm composter is actually really easy. We've got our bottom composter here, which we've got our bricks in, as you can see. I'm going to pop this one on top like that so it stacks. I'm going to pop the other bricks in here. Like that. And then we're going to pop our worm house on top like that. So when we do actually get our little worm friends and we pop them in here, we're going to stick some cardboard in and just keep them warm like that. We're going to do that in a couple of days once we get our um, little worm friends. And then we're going to pop a little lid on top like that. And then this is our really, really simple worm, cost, worm composter. Um, it's dead easy to move around and we can keep it in the shed, which is really useful. Uh, they don't like to get too cold worms, so we're going to need to keep them indoors so they're in the shed or in a, poly, in a poly tunnel over the winter. But right now, as you can tell, it's absolutely lovely weather, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to come back to you in a couple of days when we've got our little worm friends in the post and we're going to pop them in and see how they're settling in. Welcome back well, worm friends. So we're just going to add our worms to our new wormery that we've just built. So these just arrived in the post today. They are tiger worms. There is a specific um, name for them which I cannot pronounce so I'm going to put it in the bottom of the screen here. If you can figure out how to pronounce it you can let me know. But these guys are really cool because they can eat twice their body weight in food scraps in one day, which is really cool. So we're going to now add them to our little prepared bed. Pop them in. Let them get acquainted, move them around a little bit so you can see there's loads of little wormies in there. They're going to have a lovely time. So these little wormies are tiger worms and they're going to be very happy to just kind of live in here and we're going to pop some little scraps in to keep them nice and warm. That guy's doing some acrobatics over there. He'll get in there soon and he'll enjoy it. So we're going to pop in some scraps then we're going to make it a little bit moist for them in here. So when you're adding kitchen scraps it's important not to add too many. Um, and don't overfill it with allium, so things like garlics and onions. So I'm going to pop just these guys in the top here, give them something nice to eat. A lot of people worry about wormeries being a bit smelly. Uh, they can be if you don't have good ventilation, which is obviously what we've put the um, holes around the top for. And also if you overfeed your worms. So a little and often is better than huge amounts of food. 
So we've got a nice mix of food scraps in there. We've got some potato scraps, avocado skins, broad beans um, cases, that some broad beans that we actually grew on the allotment, which is really cool. So we're going to pop them in there. Our little wormies are going to have them as something to eat. You can also add things like um, little bits of cardboard and paper to it. So we're going to stick some cardboard in there so they can digest some of that as well. Go, pop that in there. And this should hopefully keep our little worm friends nice and happy. I'm also going to spray this a very occasionally with some water as well, just so that it's kept a little bit nice and moist for them. And then hopefully they should be lovely and happy. To keep them nice and shaded, I'm just going to pop some cardboard on top like that. And then I'm going to put the lid on. They will eventually break this cardboard down as well, but it's nice to just keep some it on top for them. Um, so we're going to pop the lid on here. And now... Our wormery is ready to go. So the worms will eventually break everything down there and then when this box here is full we're just going to take it off and pop the middle one on top and the worms will migrate up and start to fill that box up as well. The resulting liquid that will come off of it will collect in the bottom tub here, you can just see here, um, and that's called we call it worm tea or worm pea. It makes a really, really good fertiliser for your garden. So you can mix it um, 10 parts to one part water, pop it on your vegetable garden and it works great as a fertiliser. So this is what we are going to do with this. Our worms should be lovely and happy in here. We're going to add little bits of um, scraps and kitchen scraps to it. And hopefully we should have some lovely compost from them and some lovely fertiliser. Great way of getting rid of our kitchen scraps. Wormeries are great if you've got a small space, like we've got quite a small garden here, so we can't have a big compost bin. We're also a little bit worried about vermin around here, so we're not, we don't want a big compost bin. Um, we've got a big one at the allotment, which we put the rest of the scraps in, but this is a, been a great option for our small garden. Um, and they're just a really good option. If you want to learn more about wormeries and why they're a good option, we did write a blog about it, so you can check that out below. But other than that, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll see us in the next video. Bye-bye.